Welcome to um, the spot, isn't it? Good to meet you. Good again. to meet you. So, end of a long road, as we talked about before. The last spot on the, the vacation tour, bit, yeah. Amazing. How's the tour been? And how you been vibing? It's been crazy. It's been, a, it's been a, like a like a roller coaster, but mm -hmm. only on high platforms. We didn't go low. It was just like up. Love it. I feel like it's been it's been crazy. It's been crazy. Very surprising, but inspiring mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. Sick. Okay, well, I have to ask you. What's the best show so far? Oh. Uh, if you can put like in any terms. Can I give you more? Can I give you a few? I'll give you um, Glasgow is crazy. Yeah, Glasgow. Yeah. Paris was crazy. Was crazy. Cologne was crazy. Mm -hmm. London was crazy. Nah, you know what? They're, nah, because even the, the hometown. Nah, they, yeah, I less. can't give you a, my favorite one. Yeah. I think it was a lot. Probably Paris was one of the biggest, one of the biggest shows I've done mm -hmm. ever. Yeah. So that I feel like that. That's that's the one thing I'm gonna say without you know favoritizing any of them. Mm -hmm. But because that's like one of the biggest shows I've ever done in my career, and it's on foreign ground. That's why it was crazy to me. And how does how does that feel like um, having so much love and it's not in your hometown or home like soil? What is that feeling? Like? It's um it's it's weird, but in the best way. Yeah. Like it's it's like it's like meeting a stranger, but you're, a stranger knows your name already. You know what I mean? It's, it's yeah. like it's like what? And mm -hmm. then they'll be telling you all about it, but in their language. Yeah. And I'll be there like, I don't know what you're saying, but then you catch on to like the few words and you're like, oh, mm. it's good stuff. They'll be like, incredible, incredible. You're like, okay, incredible, cool. Yeah. I'm glad you're there. It's amazing. I just like me and seeing d people that have grown up differently to me mm. or like where it's like their life is just different to mine. Yeah. And like the fact that they're still like tapped in with my stuff is like weird. It's like different parallels. To me. Yeah, yeah. There's probably like tonight also, there's some people that don't even know the yeah. lyrics because they don't speak English. But <laughs> yeah, no, it's crazy. The language <laughs> it's barriers like, are there, but yeah. the energy is through the roof. Mm -hmm. that's, that's like sick. It's sick that they have, it's like they have like just sound recognition for a sound or song. Yeah. Like, yeah, I know this one. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, crazy. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. What about um, your favorite song to perform? Oh. Uh, um, Compare, yeah. round and round, or or hundreds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is that just because the vibes or mosh pits or? Nah, I feel like nostalgia. Or... Like for example, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's like nostalgia, but it's not nostalgia. It's like a feeling that I feel like I sometimes I I have a feeling that I feel like I felt, but I know I haven't felt it. But mm -hmm. it's, I'm just enjoying that moment. Yeah, and like to see, so especially with round and round, that like being in places where there's like language barriers but they're all like singing the hook yeah crazy oh, that yeah. feeling is just amazing so i think that's like that's probably one of my favorite that's why it's up there yeah yeah fair, fair, yeah and so originally being from leicester yes um how has that been for your come up and how do you think like because it's not like a hot spot of music mm -hmm. or some sort of like underground culture or underground scene um, do you think you've benefited from from coming a place from that? Like it's not like London, New York, Copenhagen. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. I feel like it's. I feel like it's something. I think it's great that I grew up in a place that wasn't really a hotspot because it allowed me to like be able to see the stuff I'd seen and took inspo from from an outside perspective. Yeah, and then actually like be able to sit with it, or like maybe not even sit with it, but to like then realize what I like yeah. personally myself mm -hmm. as just a consumer. And then I feel like, so coming from like a place that's like kind of outside of everywhere else, it's allowed me to like kind of treat it like shopping at a shop, you know, like you, you like, I, I just picked up different ingredients from the shop, but I still cook my own dish at home, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah, that's why I like it. Plus it's like an under, they call Leicester like the city of the underdogs, you know, like yeah. the Fox City. So yeah, Foxes, man. I, I just take that mentality and keep that energy going. Mm. So it's like, okay, I'm not the guy, but if I work hard, I can, you know, I can flex with the guys up there. Keeps you humble as well. Hundred <laughs> percent, hundred percent, exactly. Yeah, you got to be humble, man. Yeah, yeah, I can't be big headed. No, I couldn't agree more. Um, we're moving on to like vacation. Yeah. Congratulations on the EP album. Thank Amazing, you, bro. Mate. Love it, love it. I'm glad. Crazy sound, like 
sim similar but similar. forward at the same time uh -huh. which I, wa I think it's like the perfect way to move you got like, it you got on. it yeah. you got it yes um but i really want to talk about your album cover yeah and um coming out from coming lake como right mm -hmm. yes i mm -hmm. heard you guys no, like no no fun fact yeah that that picture was shot in london no way yeah Oh, okay. So we went to um, we went to Italy, Lake Como, and we yeah. really wanted to like um. We we had like boats booked and stuff, right? But our schedule was so crazy, so we didn't get the chance to. But we we seen a boat, and it's actually so there is a boat in Como that we used in a video. Mm -hmm. Um, but I wanted to actually like my, my, to, to take one and take a picture on it, but the guy that owned the boat had to go. Yeah. So I was like, nah, you know what I'm gonna do? I need to find a boat that looks exactly like this or very close to it mm -hmm. and i can just recreate that image and we did it yeah. i was gassed yeah do you um so the creative process behind that do you take any influence from anything else or like how does like building the whole vibe for mm -hmm. the whole album i was like when i was listening to organic growth like favorite song off the album but oh yeah um it's like sit down you're listening to like luxury sounds and is that like the vibe you're going for or, like what was the creative process behind that finding that um i feel like as as just a musical consumer of you know more of the chill um uh, elegant and, and like chill sounds i feel like I, I i love listening to it but then like being someone that's only started traveling last year yeah i took my first flight out of the uk last year oh, shit. so it's like i had the mentality of like I, I love being very diy so it's like i know what i like to listen to and where i want to be so it's like it's not just manifesting and just solely manifesting i'll like mm create something so i can at least get a full f kind of feeling of it yeah, yeah. so it's just like so even like for example like um with the local mvp cover like yeah bro i was literally in my hometown in leicester in like a very sad depressing looking park but you just look at the sky on my hand yeah. it just it kind of is like oh this must have been in the studio <laughs> nah it was cold that was sad mm -hmm. But then like on the boat i know it's like okay cool you can see yachts and all that type of stuff luxury wooden speedboats it's like okay cool but you know from when you see it so much you could you know like you then get ideas on how you can yeah. try create it with what you have or what you can as i just yeah, love to work that. with what you have yeah and that's like i feel like that's most rewarding as well yeah yeah, yeah you yeah. put so much effort into it and then you're like oh. yeah exactly but i don't but i don't ever try to overthink it or anything mm -hmm. like, that's why i tend to like this very simple simplistic stuff as mm -hmm. long as like the message i'm trying to get across is there yeah i'm happy but i wouldn't want to like force something like i don't want to i don't want to you don't want to try to be a genius. Yeah, you want it to you be know, organic you, growth. You want, right? yeah, you want, you want it to be organic, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, the growth to be organic. Mm. And you want people to then be, look at it and then be like that. You, know, you yeah. can't try to be it. No, for sure. It naturally just happens. So going back to like the message, um, do you have any like main goal or something you're trying to achieve like with your music? Like, are you trying to depict some sort of emotion for the crowds or is there just something that you're, I want this? Yeah. But um, anything else is a plus, you know? It's, yeah, <laughs> literally that. Uh, but what I try to do with my music, I'm I'm really and truly just well obviously there's some there's uh, most of the tracks are like just written on stuff that I'm like living, experiencing or manifesting. So if you really think about it, I'm just like just right I'm just publicly speaking from my own little diary, I just have to I've just luckily made rhyme. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's like yeah, yeah. I really I'm really just telling like what I'm doing, you know. But at the same time it's like I'm just trying to inspire other creators and creators to just like feel proud. To like create something based around what they're doing naturally themselves rather than trying to like be like okay cool if i'm going to make music i need to already have like diamond chains and mm -hmm. and this until i have that i can't really rap about mm -hmm. my life because i'm not flexing enough i'm like bro yeah my flexing on champagne shots was just based on putting champagne in a shot glass <laughs> if anything the rich people probably look at me disgusted from that but it's like hey like mm -hmm. there's there's always a beauty in in every individual story yeah yeah that's kind of like what it is that's well said that's well said <laughs> um yeah um so you also recently had your color show yeah, yeah. loved it and you had that amazing arcturex jacket on oh come yeah. on man i'm glad My you liked God. it yeah um like what inspired you to choose um like your fashion sense and do you have like how do you choose your as i like to call them game day fits game day fits stuff, man. bro honestly nah bro like a, like similar to the artwork I just don't try to overthink. Like even today, I'm thinking like, will I perform in this? I might just do that. Look, if you look at my converse, they are keeping dirty and stained. But it's like at the same time, I want people to know that I actually wear my stuff. So it's yeah. like I'm not too pressed about it. Yeah. But like no, I, I mean, 
the colors outfit mm -hmm. i just simply thought i'm on I'm, I'm about to go on colors like yeah. i need to flex a color you know what i mean and then um i actually worked with my with um a, a good friend called lorenzo mm -hmm. who uh, who helped me design the jacket so he's like he's yeah, he's very talented and I, I remember I was just like, yo, I'm about to do a colors and like, I, I need a standout piece. But at the same time, I don't want to do too much with the yeah, standout yeah. piece. Because mm -hmm. I'm really, I'm really <laughs> just laid back and chill. Like I'm wearing, I'm literally wearing track bottoms, like um, some tech bottoms and a tech jacket and then just mm -hmm. new balance shoes, which back like a few years ago where I'm from, that's like the, oh, that's like the, the dad shoes. It's like, <laughs> I'm just, but it's like, hey, they're comfy. Well. Yeah, I just want yeah. to be comfortable. Yeah. Um, but nah, I just thought, yo, I need a nice color that's gonna stand out. Yeah. Um, but how do I do that in a lazy way? Yeah. And sure. it just turned out to be that outfit. Sick. Shout out Lorenzo, man. Shout out Lorenzo. Yeah, shout man. out Lorenzo. Do you have a favorite brand at the moment? Oh man, I, I, I like a lot. Of, <laughs> I like a lot of brands. Um, I can't lie. Obviously, in the cold weather, shout out to North Face. Yeah. I've been in, I've been in my North Faces a lot. Bro. Like, <laughs> without the North Face, bro, I'll be freezing, bro. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like North Face is just like a symbol. Because I was in New York not long ago as well. Yeah. So it's like, it's low-key like uniform. Yeah, yeah. You kind know, you got to have too. the big puffer jacket on. But yeah. I, bro, I can't give you brands though. Brands I'm thinking. <laughs> right now I'm wearing Broken Planet. Yeah. Which I, I really like. The, um, uh, the, some of the clothes I'd be having on their clothes. Uh, I've just been keeping it simple. I've got the Converse chucks on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, needles. Love but I, I love I love too many <laughs> brands to to say a favorite. No, that's fair enough. Yeah. Um, now going back to um, quite a long ago, um, yeah. your YS tapes. Yeah. I remember I stumbled upon them during COVID. Easy, you're tapped in. Yeah, YSM. How did that come about? Were you just guys like a group of friends? And it is it's Young Saints movement. Yo. Right? For sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean that's not so, gone. It's not gone. Yeah. It's just that um obviously, um as, as you're trying to build some, when you're trying to build a, a few things, it, like you know the time gets divided, so it's like you, you get a bit hectic. But why is tapes coming back? Hundred percent. Come on. Hundred percent. That is something <laughs> that I take so much pride. I love why is tapes. Mm -hmm. We only we only did two episodes. Yeah. So it was a bit. It was like what? But then obviously, like being independent and stuff yeah. like we kind of have to like as, as a group of friends have to juggle a lot because yeah. obviously I work with my friends but YSM yeah Young State Movement that's that's still the thing I'm, I'm pretty sure if some people that know like mm. yourself who you know what YS is I've just shortened it because yeah. I'm not going to say you know Young yeah, yeah. the Movement so the whole, the whole movement thing is literally just it's literally just me and my friends a lot of my stuff is I'm just, I just do it with my friends Sick. and obviously we're all I've, like I, I love to believe that my friends are chatting I'm joking I know my friends are good hearted <laughs> yeah. like me I'm like obviously just being just having good intentions and just yeah. being about good vibes that's why we, that's why I call it, I call myself saint and like mm -hmm. call my friends my group friends saints we're just like yeah. young saints trying to build a movement so it's just young saint movement love it but um young saint tapes they're, yeah. they're coming back I'm excited it was so nice to watch as like an uh, audience member because then you like you see the vibes what they're going for yeah. it's so like raw but uh, it like that's how I like. I was like, okay, this guy actually like. It's like very unscripted. It's not exactly, scripted. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's all. Yeah, that's gonna come back. I'm I'm thinking there's so much footage that we've caught from this tour. Like, yeah, hundred percent. But then there's so many places we've been to before this tour. So it's <laughs> like, it's like the I'm now looking at them like, okay, how do I release and which one do I release first? Because yeah. they're all good. Yeah. Like LA, there's a LA wise tapes. Mm -hmm. There's Copenhagen wise tapes. <laughs> there's a New York wise tapes. Yeah. There's, it's yeah. too much yeah. <laughs> so I'm like which one do I give the people first mm -hmm. yeah no but it's, it's coming they're coming they're coming back sick yeah what about um, so like as you just start off with your friends with the YSN and YS tapes and stuff yeah do you have any words of wisdom but like um, for young people who are trying to stay authentic to themselves but uh -huh. they also want to pursue their passion and they don't know too how or like what they want to do like in terms of that do you know I would say take your time. Don't rush. Mm -hmm. Like you, you should not rush. Because like, if you, if if you're still unsure, and you just like force just you just force start, you, you're you're not gonna be happy with the results that come out of it. Because yeah. you, like the fact that you're already unsure before you started, mm -hmm. you're obviously gonna be unsure about what you've did, what you've done. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's kind of, I would say just it just takes patience and like discipline, man. Um, because at, you, at the end of the day, you can build something for the sake of wanting to build something different and unique and with reason, or you can build something for the sake of 
the fact that it's just trending and it's popular. So yeah. you just want the fast success. Mm. So you have to just ask yourself, what, you, what, you, what are you actually doing it for? You, like, what, what is it that you as an individual, as a group of friends, want to take out of this type of thing? Yeah. And my, like, I remember mine, obviously, yeah, I've got more goals I've came on like now, but at the time, obviously, I was born in Africa, yeah. came to the UK when I was like three, and, no, 2003. Yeah, okay. I was young, I've never been to Africa again, yeah. but I never left the UK at yeah. that point. So it's like, I just took a plane here yeah. and I never left. So I, mine was simply like, as as simple as it sounds, it's a bit dumb, but I was like, I just want, I just want to take a, I, I just want to go on the plane. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, okay, cool, is that something happened? But I, was, but I was like, but what would be special about that pl- that plane journey is like doing it for something I love. Yeah, and I'm I'm going there for a reason with the people I love and care yeah. about, which obviously my friends and my family. So it's like now seeing happen, it's like, what can I do more? Yeah, and through that music, it's like you've got just chill goals you want to mm-hmm. go for. And once you get like wholesome, so it's like. So it's like, at the end of the day, like I said, asking yourself what you want to gain out of this. Like, is it the quick overnight success yeah. or is it something where you, you're going to have people come up to you being like, yo, mm-hmm. I, I understand how you feel. You, you maybe want to create more and then now you're creating more and you, you have people there like you're actually inspired. Yeah. That's what I want to do. And you think you've gone like that perspective on stuff from your upbringing or just like where you're from? Or? Yeah, definitely. Um, growing up, I didn't have a lot. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Uh, literally very minimal. Mm-hmm. But then at the same time, you know, like it takes, sometimes it, you need that to then know what it would be like, then to know why you want more yeah, and what you want more for. Because like, mm-hmm. it's like me then growing up, not having what every other kid us- usually would have, mm-hmm. I was then like, you know what, cool. I want what other kids want. But at the same time, I want my parents able to get me what the other kids have or me get them yeah. what their kids get for them. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. This was a wholesome stuff. So I was like, so yeah. I feel like it's definitely helped me want to work and get more just for me and my family. You know yeah. what I mean? No, yeah. Uh, I also wanted to get into your basketball. Yeah. Because so you research, research. But you were in Paris right before, and you, did you go to the NBA game? Yeah. Yeah. I was, at, was I, was at the, I was at the the Bulls Pistons game. It was good. Yeah. It was good. I mean, I don't support the, I support the Bulls. I don't, I don't support <laughs> the Bulls. And I'm lying. Like, but, but it's like. I liked the Bulls more than Pistons. Yeah. I wanted the Bulls to win. Plus, mm-hmm. I was obviously doing um, the campaign w- with um, them in New Balance, yeah. which obviously was for Zach Levine, who plays for the Bulls. So. Yeah. Then how, like, because you played basketball for a while, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not well, not but, not a while. Not like the not like the av- not like the the usual athlete story. You yeah, yeah, yeah. I was always into sports, but playing like I fell in love with basketball. I'd probably say um, end of high school, okay, yeah. throughout college. Mm-hmm a bit of uni isn't it a bit like mad then you're going there and you're having a collaboration with Zach Levine and you're like oh. yeah it was nuts like because obviously I wanted to play basketball and basketball was like my original goal like that was like something I was, I was like yo I want to be a basketball player that was yeah that was my goal mm-hmm. you know? but then it was like obviously music then came about and I fell in love with music and obviously being in my position like in the UK it's like it's like you kind of not that's bad it's, it's not impossible but there's a certain time or stage where you, it's like, okay, cool. You kind of want to be playing overseas now. Yeah. So I wasn't there. So I was like, let me test yeah, yeah. the music out a little bit mm-hmm. more. But it, and then it's cool. It's like cool to have like left the ball. And yeah. then somehow it's like full circled back to yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah. I, I think that's cool. And it's like, obviously seeing the people that I'll, I'll be playing on video games with. Like, yeah. And I'm literally like <laughs> shaking hands with him. And he's yeah. telling me that his son mm-hmm. has is called Saint as well. Like, <laughs> I was like, well, yeah. weird, but it's cool. Yeah, yeah like, it was cool as well. Cool sick, man. Yeah. <laughs> I was like mad. No, Full circle sure. moments. Yeah, it's just like a snowball effect. That yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's just rolling, it's just yeah. brilliant. Shit just keeps getting better, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about, so you're going back to the UK now after the tour. Yeah. Yeah, you excited to get back home <laughs> or settle down more? I mean, I'm excited. I'm I'm definitely excited, but yeah. I'm definitely like, I feel a weird way. Like, I'm, like, I'm not going to mm-hmm. be on the tour no more. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, Do you feel more inspired though? Yes, I've, I've been writing. I write. I've been writing. I was writing a song today, literally on the train yeah. back from um, Louisiana. Right? Mm, yeah. yeah. Um. But nah, because like I, I've now have this like thing in my head where I just wake up. I'm like, where am I now? Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's mm-hmm. like I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna be like, I'm in my house. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I'm like, should I not yeah, be yeah. somewhere foreign? Yeah. <laughs> but no, no I'm, I'm excited. It's gonna, it's gonna be cool to obviously like rest up and like record and do mm. more of the work on the stuff that's being yeah. made over here. So. Oh, sick, man. And then um, going back to like, so you were in Louisiana today. 
Yeah. Um, what's on your like? Are you inspired by art in that terms, or like what would you look like artists, for example? Is it does it influence all of your work, or is it just like not all of my work, but most yeah. of my work? You know, mm -hmm. um, it's definitely gonna inspire the next artwork I do. Yeah. Yeah. Sick, sick. For something I release, but I feel like it's definitely <laughs> gonna be art um, inspired. I love art. Yeah, because I feel like it's, it's very cool to like you know it's like to just summarize somebody else's emotions and thoughts and feelings through a frame. Mm -hmm. I find it very interesting because it's kind of similar. I see, I always see the similarities to music. It's like okay, cool. I have like two minutes twenty seconds. Yeah. To to like yeah. Well, no, what I say to like the, to <laughs> make someone feel away. Yeah. I have this time, like, but it's like. But oh, it's like you only have how how many times, however many times that person looks at the picture. Mm. So it's like, I always find I like learning how an artist or trying to see or understand how an artist then took that that opportunity to do that and create such a crazy. So it's like okay, cool. Yeah. And I want to like do, just do it to my music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just getting inspired by like talking yeah. to me. It's like uh, it's super. It's yeah. just it's yeah. It's just weird when you think yeah. about it, but it's like super smart, like life. Mm. <laughs> just no, it like gets hella philosophical. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. Um, then for music wise, what's on your playlist now? Then what's on my playlist? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> what what are you phones <laughs> No, it's all right. It's all right. Let me think. <laughs> like, what are you banging on the tour bus? Pink Panthers. Pink Panthers. Yeah. Um, Love her. Yeah, flipping. I can't lie. I've, I've been singing the boys a liar like. <laughs> that song is but crazy. then like even that because it's like that's even something that inspires me it's crazy because yeah. it's like this is also another someone from the uk and known from london again yeah. mm -hmm. not from hard point i'm thinking okay no, like, yeah. this person's like doing this yeah. of themselves but pink panfish uh bb yeah i might sound biased yeah. against my producer, <laughs> but no he actually has some crazy stuff in yeah, there for, for sure um i like I listen to Sade, mm -hmm. the new Yeet project. Yeah, I haven't heard it actually. Crazy. Came out like two days ago. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, I listen to Femi, Femi from London. Yeah. Future, Bash of the World. <laughs> <sighs> There's been a lot. Meat Mill, yeah. Skepta. Yeah. Easy, bro. And Nux. Hot oh, Nux, love it. And Slow Tire. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I listen to it a lot, bro. Yeah, it's too much. I, it, there it all depends on my much. mood. Yeah. It depends on my mood. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Do, do you have um, like once you go every show you do? Do you have any like superstitions? Superstitions you do before or anything? What does that mean? Like you go like your football players when they're coming subbed on and they're like touch the ground twice. Oh no, 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 sprint. Like I do everything before the show. Do you have oh, something I, like? You have oh, to. before I go on stage. Yeah. Oh, bro, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just nervous. Yeah. I'm nervous <laughs> to the max. I don't I actually. I don't even think I don't even know what I do before I go on the stage. You know, yeah. it's like I enter this like I just go blank. Yeah, yeah. But in a good way. So it's like in, it's like, it's in, like yeah. no, like I literally be saying, okay, gotta have a good show. Gotta have a good show. <laughs> gotta have a good show. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Let's turn up. Um, but what do I tend to do? I just dab. I just dab everyone up. Yeah. Like, like it, it doesn't matter who's in there. It can, mm. like you could be in there with your parents. Right? Yeah. And I'll be like, all right, see you on the yeah, other side. Easy. See you on the other side to your parents. See you on the other side. Let's go. And I'll, I'll just run out. Mm. Blank man. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's sick. And talk about shows again. I need to ask you about the boiler room. Boiler yeah. room. That looked so fucking mad. That was nuts. Like, how? Because it's not your traditional setup. No. Nope. Yeah. How was it performed in there? It was crazy. Yeah. The energy was like through the roof. Yeah. Like, but in, on many occasions, I was like picking people up. Because mm -hmm. it's like there was no stage. It's kind of yeah, in yeah. there. And you know, there'll be, there'll, there'll, I remember there was one camera guy that like, he was on job, he was there. And the amount of times that like, he was falling, I'm like, and I'll catch him. I felt like Spider Man, bro. I was like, yo, <laughs> you good? You good? Yeah. And then, yeah, no, but it was it was crazy. Because mm -hmm. I've always been a fan of Boiler Room. Yeah. Um, so concept. to be on Boiler Room yeah. was like, whoa. Whoa, yeah. like I'm on I'm on the same platform that a lot of my favorite artists yeah. and producers have been on. So it was like kinda like mm -hmm. it didn't feel real. Mm -hmm. Because even before that day I had a migraine. I was I had the worst migraine. And mm -hmm. it went when I performed and then it came back when I stopped performing. 
So I was like, yo, adrenaline is one. Yeah, adrenaline is I love adrenaline. One drug. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, it was it was amazing, bro. I, I feel like I, was, I felt mad inspired. And then, like yeah. the amount of people that I'd seen after that, just like mm-hmm. tapping in with me. And I was just like, whoa, like, you you know my music. That's yeah. like crazy, yeah. It's fucking mad. No, it was love crazy. a good boy. It was man. crazy. Yeah. So, and tonight, the last show of the tour. Yeah. What does a Saint show look like? How would you describe a Saint show? It's a vibe, <laughs> man. It's a vibe. I don't, I'm trying to think. Like, I, I, do you know what it is? It's very like because even myself, I remember like I, I, so I, I, I look at my I look at myself in third person a lot, mm-hmm. and like, especially as an artist, I like a like Saint. And it's different, like different person. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I remember I used to be like, what would a saint show actually be like? I feel like it would be, I was, and I was, I'll be like, I feel like it would be super chill, man. Mm. Like everyone would just be stood there with their drinks. It's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I remember the first show I did, they were most, they mostly to nearly every song. I was like, <laughs> and then like the more the more I've done some shows, I started to realize. I'm not saying my music is for mosh pitting, like literally, but I I start to under, understand where some people then mm. do it and like, where they get. I'm like, okay, I kind of mm. see. But I feel like it's like it's a vibe, but you uh, just expect the unexpected type yeah. of vibe because it's like mm-hmm. you don't know you might be, you might be more jumpy, but yeah you might actually just be sipping with you kind of chill. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. but either way it's a good vibe. You can, you you leave just like wow. Yeah. Because I I me I'm on stage and I leave from my experience with the crowd like wow like I love these people. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know. It's wholesome, yeah. wholesome, super wholesome. And are there some songs that you, um, like, when you write them, you have in mind, like, oh, this will bang on stage, or is that nothing to think about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But actually, no, now, yes. Yeah. Because oh, obviously, like, I feel like the, my music, my music has ga- gained quite a lot of traction over the, over time. So it's like, even the songs that, like, for example, Round and Round, which you also, I saw, um, there's one mm. song I really enjoyed performing live. Yeah. I, there's a lot of songs that I never looked at in a live way. Yeah. It was more like, yo, like, this would be a vibe if I sang this with my friends in the car. Yeah. No, yeah. But then now, now I think, when I think about it, I think that's like the same thing to mm-hmm. me now. It's like, okay, cool. If I was singing this in the car with my friends, I know this would go off live. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Soulmate. Surprisingly, mm-hmm. that was, that was a song I thought this would go off in the crowd. And it has, because it's like it does yeah, it's go true. off but on an intimate one yeah yeah like I remember on Valentine's Day yo the couples the, the couples <laughs> were exposed <laughs> the couples were exposed like you see a lot of people there with their hands up mm. and then you just see two heads facing each other symmetrically I'm like <laughs> I see it. soulmates yeah, yeah. have been found yeah it's good different vibes yeah that's yeah. good different vibes it's good different vibes that's chill um and personally, I have to ask about the Queen slash AIM yeah. music video. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you're actually fit. <laughs> wow, I'm <laughs> impressed. When I, well, thanks, man. But when I saw that video, yeah. um, I thought you you were just going to be like UK chill sound. Like that was your <laughs> that was your vibe. And then you came on that. I was like, I've never heard anything like this. And the creative direction was unmatched as well. Like, thank you, man. How was it being on set there? And like, what was your it was main fun. <laughs> It was like Copenhagen. Though. It was very cold. <laughs> it was very, very yeah. cold. It was fun though, because I'm um, yeah, like I'm. I, I feel like that's one thing about me. I don't want to be boxed. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do it all. I don't want to. I don't want to stretch. My, I'll spread myself thin. Of course not. Mm-hmm. But like, but I can do more than just one thing. Yeah. So I, I wanted to be like, you know, not like make a statement mm-hmm. and like be like, hey, I'm not just a chill rapper. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not against, I'm not against people calling me a chill rapper. Like yeah. I am a chill person, but mm. I was like, let me just silently do something yeah, yeah, with yeah. my friends that mm. will like have it would it would turn some heads. Yeah. And we came up with AM and Queen, which we recorded literally in, in like a day. Mm. And then we we shot parts <laughs> of the video on the same day. Yeah. But um yeah, and then uh on set we was like let's do something different but include like important little subtle details or hints that people yeah. can catch on to mm-hmm. like like we I, I'd never seen another musician from well me personally have mm-hmm. a fox on a leash you know and I'm That's from true. I feel like I'm from Leicester so it's hey. like the city of the fox yeah that was actually iconic I was like <laughs> we, <laughs> let, let's get a fox yeah. on a leash yeah I've never been in a submarine either mm-hmm. so yeah, the submarine like, yeah let's go to submarine like that'll be cool mm-hmm. 
and like even just some of the outfits uh, it's like yeah 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 like that te- that tech wear like I, mm-hmm. the, I even had the jack the jack you can she stick airpods on yeah, yeah, yeah. like this is cool it's fucking hard yeah yeah and no, it was fun I, I feel like it was, just, it was very fun to do something unique man even mm-hmm. even having to um fake cry on on, yeah. on cam mm-hmm. that was that was um i impressed myself i didn't know i'd be able to do that mm-hmm. do you have like um any say in the direction or stuff like do you want to be like yeah but like in the music video but like do you oh well yeah and like i feel like um yeah obviously like i work with aaron a lot um mm-hmm. but again like you know ysm like people forget like we're just actually friends so yeah. like, we'll, we'll all be like i live i live with him and bb like, okay we live yeah. together so yeah. like we can just wake up and be like hey Mm-hmm. What do you want to do? Like, how do you like? Like, like it's uh, we recorded a song and just passed the video in the same yeah. day. So it's like he heard, he was there throughout the whole process. He didn't, mm-hmm. he didn't know it was gonna, we didn't know it was gonna make it. We didn't know it was gonna make it either. Yeah. We just made it. He kind of seen it was like, yo, what are you gonna do with this? <laughs> was like, um, but yeah. I don't know. Like, I'm literally just recording now. He's like, yo, I got some ideas. Yeah. And then we literally, but then we're, in, we're all in the same bubble. So it's like, we all would be bounced off each other. But of course, mm-hmm. music. I let him do his thing, Brad does his thing, but we all definitely still talk about things. So it's like pretty much a good, good, like, good, good hub to work on. And yeah. he has, he understands everything and he's able to go create. And in the same way, it's like if there's something there, we're like, oh, maybe we can sort this. But mm-hmm. he, he already gets everything yeah, spot yeah. on. It's crazy. It's weird. It's a wizard. It's good chemistry there. Yeah. 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 Sure. 100 chem on FIFA. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 100 chem, mate. You still play any video games? Yeah, yeah, I was even gonna say, yo, yo, we should play. Like, <laughs> the pads on there, we got the FIFA. Bro. Yeah, I've been, come on, I've been beating yeah, everyone. Good at FIFA. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm alright. I'm alright. Well, I'm. Yeah. Like, how often do you play it? Oh, I, I haven't played in a while. I'm about, good. But I'm good I, I played FIFA. this year. I, was, I played I was, a bit this year. Played a bit. I was like, let yeah. me see your your knowledge, yeah. your skills. No, no, no. no but FIFA, um, two <laughs> K, two K is my game. Yeah, oh, NBA two K. <laughs> no, but I can I can play FIFA or Fortnite. I'm good at Fortnite. Oh. Don't talk about Fortnite. I love this. Or um, <laughs> Mario Kart. <laughs> Mario Kart. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys come to London, you should come to the crib. I've got, yeah. got arcade yeah. machine in there as well. So oh, that's so sick. I love I love games, yeah. man. Games are fun. How do you spend your like downtime? My downtime. Yeah. Do you have any like? It's so unpredictable, bro. Mm. I'll probably watch a film. Yeah. Or go to the museum. What to do? I like going to cafes. I even have like, li- bro, look at this. <laughs> I literally have. Cookies and food. <laughs> the tattoo here. That's sick. Go to cafes. Some good cafes. The hot chocolate out here is good as well. Hot chocolate. You know, a coffee drinker. I am a coffee drinker. Oh, okay. I am a coffee drinker. But uh, but it was just cold, and I was, yeah. and I, I had a sweet tooth, so I was like, yo, let me get a. I should have got a mocha, but mm-hmm. no, we fuck with uh, hot chocolate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, it's good. But I go to a cafe. Um, mm-hmm. maybe meet some friends to do some wholesome stuff. You know, yeah. like maybe go buy and and a. What do you call them plants? I, I have a lot of them. Oh, no, this is bad. Terrarium. Terrarium? Oh, you have a terrarium? I have, I have three of them. Dang. I have a really big one, medium-sized one. Okay. Then a big, small one. And they're like self-sustaining. You don't have to do anything with yes, them, Yes, eh? exactly. Which is why it's good. <laughs> yeah. Because like, for me, let me just be honest, bro. Unless I'm cuffed up, mm-hmm. married, or like just all my stuff or someone that's so patterned, I don't think I'm going to be on job of watering my plants. <laughs> I'm just being real. Yeah. I'm just being real. Yeah. Mm. Wow. But that's what look, but then I'm pro I'm so pro plants. Yeah. That's why I got the ones that look after themselves. So it's yeah. like oh, I'm supporting them. Yeah. Because you can you can watch it not, but you can watch them more often, but it's mm. like they can live on at least being watered twice a year. Which yeah. is nuts. I find that man bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. And that crazy. No, mm. plants are dope. We yeah <laughs> but I do, yeah just do something yeah. like that or just listen listen to music I, I, I actually just mm. love music like as much as I make music I'm, I would probably say I'm way more just a fan of music than mm. I am an artist what were you like uh, what was like your entry into hip hop or rap do you like first music artist do you remember that or the first artist I could not give you but yeah, um, yeah, sure. through the music of my like the my, my music my brother would listen to my cousins and uncles uh, it was just something like you know seeing seeing them enjoy that and then understanding why they enjoy it because mm-hmm. of, of course it was like you know when you grow up you go through you go through different phases like i i went through i went to different music phases different, mm-hmm. different musical phases so it's like it's like I, I i knew i liked rap but at the same time i was like wait am i sure i just like rap or like do I like rap because I just grew up and seen people yeah, close to exactly, me yeah. liking it mm-hmm. so I'm just like I should like this mm-hmm. because I'm not gonna lie to you like 
I love so I love this I love some rock music bro it's like some rock tunes so it's like mm -hmm. okay cool like I'll even well I'll even take inspiration from it I love Paramore bro mm -hmm. Paramore. I remember I had Guitar Hero yeah and then that that kind of <laughs> like that kind of like that kind of look stirred the pot a little bit I was like okay 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 and then but then not in a, not in a, not, like, not exactly in a way where it's like okay cool I listen to rock now yeah no, it was like it was, but it was like a thing where it's like it opened up it made me more open minded yeah. whereas now I can like take in like so many different other artists where at that time if, if my the people around me listened to it they would have been like what is that mm. but then I'm listening to them like you know the melodies are slapping it, yeah you know? I love jazz music oh, classical God. music yeah Loki sometimes opera will be satisfying. <laughs> not not yeah. saying I, I don't listen to it that much, mm -hmm. but it's like there's times where like I've kind of came across opera and I'm, and I'm just like listening to the vocal pans. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah. raw, like that is techy. I like, can hook you up on some Cantonese opera. It's yeah, yeah, some Hong Kong stuff. Yeah, <laughs> put me onto it. Yeah. Bro. I just love new sounds. I love I love so much. Mm -hmm. I went through a neo soul vibe neo -soul, era, yeah. Afro beats. Oh, okay. Afro we can so. talk for time. Yeah, we can <laughs> talk for time. But yeah, <laughs> there's too many. Because it was it was definitely rap first, but then mm -hmm. but then obviously gospel. But I kind of uh, I think that also comes like hand in hand with your sound because mm. you also have a very unique sound. I feel like, and it was new for a lot of people listening. Mm -hmm. I think more internationally because then they come into the UK scene and they're like, okay, yeah, let's chill rap here. I feel like it's it's um kind of understandable. Yeah, because uh, like I feel again, artists sometimes forget. Like we got, we got like yeah, we're big. We, I'm not big. <laughs> yeah, they're big. Yeah. But then, at the end of the day, you still have an accent, mm -hmm. and you still have your own slang. Yeah. So like, cool. for it to go global, it's like, mm -hmm. not say speak what everyone else speaks, but like, are they understanding you? Like, yeah. So yeah, that's something like that. Because mm -hmm. I, because I started to realize people when I, I still, I feel like what com what made me realize people could understand my music was when I started seeing like parents at my shows. Like people, a lot of us were like, a lot of like my friends around me were like, nah, but obviously coming as guardians for their kids. Yeah. And I, and I was like, nah, like, bro, I'm seeing like parents yeah. without a kid. Like, <laughs> at the show, I was like, okay, That's cool. That's so sick. Then like cooking shows, there was a yeah. cooking show that used it. And I was like, yo, this is cool. <laughs> and then again, like, like I'll do, I'll, sometimes I'll just meet like some, some kids that will come to a show. And then after the, after their parent takes the picture of them, that like, I've seen them like, what like, has the phone to his kid it's not even like it was not like me them and the kid it's like yeah. no 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 you take one of us <laughs> and it was like love your music and I'm like yo class, you're showing class, more yeah. love than your kid <laughs> <laughs> I love that yeah. I love it because yeah, again like I said with, again like with music not not trying to be boxed and stuff but at the mm. same time I'm not even trying to be, just be I'm not I'm not just trying to attract and feed one audience yeah, yeah. nah that's whack bro. that's a wholesome as fuck I mean I'm not a gangster <laughs> for anyone that does but it's like but at the same time like my, I'm really trying to like I don't really see it as fans that I'm trying to build I don't want fans I mm. want to I'm trying to like have community vibes movement. that's what I'm after yeah movement, movement exactly movement, yeah. I'm moving why some yeah, yeah. Awesome. fucking sick man yeah yeah I think, yeah you got it yeah I think we got everything we need mate thank you that for having me much man. better yeah like in sync super class bro combos super class man no, so man. interesting man yeah. 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 Yeah.